Hi, welcome to this video. Uh, so basically next we're going to be talking about tree diagrams. Uh, and so the tree diagram is the idea here is to try to take this idea of um, conditional probability and to be able to draw it out so that we understand kind of what's happening. So it's a way to kind of represent probability so we better understand um, what's going on. Uh, so let's look at an example because uh, examples are kind of the best way to view these things. Uh, so let's do that example. Uh, so let's see, what information do we have? We're starting off with three bags of chocolate. Uh, so we have three bags of chocolate uh, and each one has three different types of chocolate in it. So the first bag is gonna, so it's either gonna be white, dark, or milk chocolate. Um, and each quantity, for, in each bag, the quantities are gonna be different. So in the first bag, we have two white chocolates and one milk chocolate. So we have two bags and one milk in the first one. Uh, in the second one, we have two dark chocolates and two milk chocolates. Uh, so we have two dark chocolates and two milk in the second bag. Uh, and then the third bag has one white, dark dark, white, white chocolate, one dark chocolate, and two milk chocolates for the third bag. And so now the question is, what is the probability that we will get a dark chocolate if we randomly draw a chocolate from a random bag? Now, again, we're going to talk about common student mistakes frequently throughout this class. So a common student mistake is to kind of think, oh, okay, well, let me first figure out how many dark chocolates I have. Um, so we just, we're going to add up all the quantities. So I have two plus one white, one plus two plus two milk, and then two plus one dark. So I just looked at how many of each thing I have in each bag. So I have three dark chocolates and 11 chocolates in total. So I'm going to have three 11 chance of getting a dark chocolate. Now, if all of these um, chocolates were in one bag, that would make sense. Um, but imagine, like, go, go to a little extreme, right? Think about um, having three bags um, where one is all white, one is all dark, and one is all milk, right? Um, with these numbers. So the dark one has three dark chocolates, the milk one has five milk chocolates, and the white one has three white chocolates. Um, so... Uh, three white in one bag, uh, three, uh, oops, five milk, and uh, three dark, right? And so you might say, oh, three elevenths of a chance. But if you think about this, I really ha only have one third of a chance, right? I first choose which bag to go. This, is, this has a one third chance of getting selected. The, this one, right? So this is a one third chance. And then from there, I'm guaranteed to get a dark chocolate. If I choose any other ones, I'm guaranteed to not get a dark chocolate. So really, this is a one third chance. So automatically, just by looking at the problem differently, um, we know that this way of thinking about it is very different. And this is why like, I keep em trying to emphasize that every word counts. Um, if I'm mentioning that there's three bags and they're separated in different ways, that probably you need to use that information in some way. Um, so just note that for um, future. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this problem and we're going to look at uh, what's called a tree diagram. Uh, so let's look at this. So basically what we do is we're going to set up the diagram in the following way. Uh, and it's actually going to look a little bit like what I did here in the top right corner. Uh, so what I do is I'm going to start off um, with nothing. So I start off with a little point. Um, and I'm going to look at the first option I have. So the first option I have is, well, I have to randomly choose a bag, right? I have to choose which bag I'm going to draw out of. So I'm going to draw three different lines, one for each bag. So bag one, bag two, and bag three. And I'm going to label each of these lines with what's the probability that I take that route, in essence. So I have a one-third chance of going to bag one. I have a one-third chance of going to bag two. I have a one-third chance of going to bag three. Well, from here, we're going to look at um, the number of elements in each bag, right? So we're going to now split this again into what's in each bag. So in bag one, I know I have two white chocolates. Um, and I have one milk. In bag two, I have two milk. Two milk. Uh, and two dark. And then in the last one, I have one white, one dark, and two milk. 
And here we'll add the probabilities again. So inside of bag one, I have two white chocolates and one milk chocolate. That means I'm going to have a two thirds chance of choosing the white one and then one third chance of choosing the milk one. Uh, like in bag two, I have a two fourths chance of choosing a milk one, right? Two out of four total of options uh, and then two fourths for the dark. And then you can kind of see I'll get the same thing for this last one. One fourth, one fourth and uh, two fourths. Sorry for the slightly smaller writing, um, but yeah. Um, and so what's the probability to get any particular one of these? So the probability to get one of these white chocolates is one third times two thirds. So this is equal to two ninths. This one will give me one third times one third, which is giving me one ninth. Next, um, to get one of these milk chocolates, I would have one third to first choose the bag. And then I would have two fourths in order to choose the milk. So this gives me, gives me two twelfths. Uh, this one is basically identical. Two fourths is two twelfths. Uh, and then here we have um, a little different numbers, but basically it's the same uh, principle, the same idea. This one's two fourths, so we get two twelfths. So basically what we have here is choose bag choose bag, and this one is choose chocolate. Okay, um, and now remember what we're asking is what's the chance of getting a dark chocolate? So chance, chance of dark, right? Chance of dark, dark chocolate. Uh, so we basically want to see when we have dark chocolate. So we have dark chocolate here and we have dark chocolate here. So basically we have this chance and we have this chance. So we're just going to add them up. So we have two twelfths plus one twelfth, three twelfths, which is equal to one fourth. So we have a 25% chance um, of getting a dark chocolate, which is a lot less than the three eleven. Um, so yeah, so it's something to note that you want to always kind of separate these things, um, into this way. So in the next video, we'll go over another example on conditional probability, um, and kind of see how, so this basically introduced tree diagrams. The next one will integrate uh, conditional probability with tree diagrams, uh, through another example.